Hello and welcome to this um, short tutorial on how we can use properties on items and how we can use them to restore such things as health and increase stats uh, without writing any code. So for this I'll just be using the 8-point all done demo scene in the demos scenes folder because it's already complete so it's uh, easiest to get started with. Alright. So let's just start by creating a new item and some properties. So grab the database. Um, so I'm just going to start off by creating a new property. So I'm just going to call this one run speed. Um, so we can use items to define how fast we're going to run. Obviously, in the end, we need to write a little bit of code to move the status to um, your player controller. But uh, we'll, we'll cover that real quick. So we have run speed. We can grab a color, the color we want to use inside of the UI, and we can also use um, this. So, so for example, for health, we have a maximum value, which is in this case 100. We can define um, five out of 100. So, in case you're damaged or something, you can show the the maximum value as well. So, in case of run speed, we don't want to, or in this case, I don't want to use a uh, maximum amount. So, I'm just going to leave it at zero, which is going to show the actual amount. If you like, you could just use uh, two, which will show, uh, I'm sorry, one, which will show the maximum amount, and two, which will show actually the property itself. Okay, but for now we'll just use uh, we'll just use zero, and you can use plenty of formattings here. So you have n or c or um, just Google it for um, string formatting. All right, so we got that set up. Now let's create a new item. Let's create an equipable item without a model all right and boots that will make you run faster the icon and the equip location all of this has been covered in the uh, getting started tutorial so if you don't have if you haven't set this up yet uh, have a look at that um, nope Okay, so we've gotten to the properties. So let's add the property and then we'll go to run speed. And we can say, for example, 10. So we'll increase our run speed by 10. But we can also use a um, multiplier. So if we enable the multiplier, we'll say 1.1, we'll get a 10% boost on our run speed. So we can actually use percentages in here as you'd expect. But for now, let's just um, make it 10. Okay, um, and I'm just going to go into here and I'll just give it a base value of 50. Um, so we actually have um, something to start with. Okay, and then we have our boots, which will increase it by 10 and so forth. Uh, it'll be shown in the stats, it'll show in the UI. So if I now grab my new item, drag it into the scene, play the game, pick them up and equip them, you'll see that uh, run speed will now also be available in my character stats. So we have run speed of 50, which is the base value, pick up the boots, I equip them, and as you can see run speed is now 60. Um, now we can actually read this this um, value and use it to actually make our character move faster. Um, so let's just write a little bit of code. All right, so for this, let's create a new script. Uh, always, if you're going to create scripts, make them outside of the inventory systems folder because in case of an update, you might lose your file. So be sure to save them outside of this folder down here. So let's just call this, um, let's say, UI loop, um, something like that. And I'm just going to attach this to the player. Where are you? There it is. Oh, it's not done compiling yet. Alright, let's attach that to our player. 
and let's edit it. Okay, so because our script is attached to the inventory player, we can actually grab the character collection directly from a player, which is where all these stats for that specific player will be stored. Um, and we can also use the third person user control, which contains the walk speed multiplier, which we can um, modify to uh, define the speed of our player walking. So let's write some code for that. So first we want to create a reference to the third person user control. And we want to create a reference to the inventory player. And then fill them here. Okay. And we can use specific stat or uh, events for this that will fire the moment a. Um, stat will change so if on the character collection we can use the on stat changed which will be fired the moment a um, specific stat changes in the code we can inside of this event we can still modify the stat and it will automatically get repainted afterwards uh, in case you would like to modify it uh, based on the event but for now we're not going to do that we're just going to see if this stat that has been updated is the one we're actually looking for so in this case, we actually want to look for the stat with the name zip, run speed. So I'm just going to copy this. So if run speed has been updated, so when a new, once a new item is equipped that modifies the run speed or unequipped or in any way is modified, um, this event will be fired and we'll check if it contains the run speed. Once it does, we actually want to modify the user control dot walk speed multiplier dot current value. Um, this is actually a multiplier, and our stat starts counting at 50 and at uh, 10, so we actually would have 60 in total, which is kind of high for a multiplier. So I'm actually going to divide this by 100, so we actually get a uh, a proper multiplier. Okay, and that's uh, all we actually have to do. So just going to close this, um, and for the sake of it, I'll just add a um, debug.log so we can actually see it's uh, it's happening. And close this. And one thing we actually want to do is make sure this is set to start, so the event will register after all of the character stats have been generated and are set so we don't um, override our value before the character stats have been generated. So make sure it's on start and not in an awake and let's try it out. Alright so currently we have a walk speed multiplier of 0.5 which is equal to our 50. I'm just going to grab up the boots, equip them as you can see, it's now 60. We've got our debug.log and our walk speed multiplier has gone up 2.6. So if I now unequip them again, I'll walk a little bit slower as opposed to just make us a little larger. As opposed to when I equip them. Might be a little hard to see, so I'll just increase the value a little bit. So it's currently at 0.5, we equip them, and we go a whole lot faster. Alright, that's it for this tutorial, and um, until next time.